Today, I'm going to show you the easiest way to get your business featured in Google results with Google Business Profile. Let's jump in. All right, so we're just going to go to google.com slash business, and it'll take you to this page here. And it basically allows your business to be featured in the side panel when people are searching for the type of service that you provide or an area or your business name. And it's really pretty simple to get set up here. And so we're just going to go to get started and it's going to start by asking you what your business name is. We'll just use the name of the channel. We'll go how Finity. We're going to create a business with this name and we're going to go business category. Now, if you type in a name and that business already exists, you can also claim that if it is your business and somebody else had set up the profile, you can do that and regain control of that. But in this case, we're going to be setting up a brand new one and it's going to ask you for a business category. You just need to start typing something in. Let's go media and you click next. Do you want to add a location? If you have a storefront and you want people to be able to come and visit that business, then you would select yes. Now, in our case, this is not something where customers come up to our location. So I'm going to select no. And if you don't have a specific location, you could still select a service area. Let's say you have a home repair company that you run out of your house, but you have a service area in a certain region or city or town that you're part of, you can have that. If not, you can just select next. And then you will need to select the region that your business is based in. In our case, it is United States. So we're going to select next. And again, it's going to ask you some additional information here. So it's going to ask you phone number or a point of contact for your business. Get out a website, which they say is optional, but I think it's a highly recommended feature to be able to add your website on to there. And next, it's going to ask you for your mailing address. Now, you don't have to list this publicly, but they need an address to identify where you're located. Again, if it's, it's out of your house, then you'll just put your home address in there. If you have a separate address, then you would put that in there. But again, you have the option to be able to hide that from public view. And then it's going to ask you a couple of ways to verify. And then it's just going to text you a verification code. So let me bring that up and punch that code in here. Okay. And then here you can add your business hours. So again, this is more pertains to in a situation where if you're a shop that people can visit and you can set holidays and all of that, but let's just say we're open Monday through Friday. You can set the opening times, the closing times. We're just going to say we're open all day, but then you can change that later. If you change your hours or there's a day that you're going to be closed for a holiday, you can always change that later. So you do need to add a time. We're just going to say 24 hours, click next. And then next, it's going to ask you to enter a description of your business. And this is just what you do or what your business is. Just a couple of sentences. I think it only, yeah, it only gives you 750 characters. So a kind of a brief description. There you go. And you can add as much detail to that. And all these are, are able to change later. We click next. And then next, it's going to bring up where you can add images. And you can add as many as you want that are either photos of the products that you sell or your storefront or your lobby or whatever you want to add in there. And I'm just going to add one just for, I'm just going to add a image here just for example sake. And then it actually gives you, when you first sign up, it gives you a $500 advertising credit. So you could feature that if you'd like, and it shows you what these would look like. And that pops up in the top of the search if you want to do that, or you can skip it. And then it also gives you an option here where you could sign up for Google Workspace. This is totally optional, but you can, that way, if you have a website that you want to have email addresses, that is your name at your business.com, you can do that. And again, just another option that is offered through Google. Then it takes you to here. So, and it's still processing your verification. Sometimes that takes a little bit of time, could be up to five days. But before that comes up, you have an opportunity to edit anything. You can add website, you can add photos, you can edit your profile here. You have contact information, your location, your hours. Since it takes up to five days to verify, I'm gonna take you to an existing business profile here to show you what some of this additional information is. All right, so here is an existing business profile that I have set up to show you what some of the other things are available here. You can read reviews. So if anybody's left you any reviews, which I have not yet, you can see those here. And you can get re more reviews just by clicking on this and it'll give you a link that you could email out or send to past customers so that they can write up a review for you. You have all your photos, 
that you can add anything that has been available. And then you can see your performance here. So it kind of gives you a graph of how many people have searched for, have found your profile, where they're coming from. So it gives you some great data that way. And again, you can claim your credit here to be able to even boost that performance even more. Then you have a bookings page. So you can add a link to be able to for people to book appointments directly on your Google profile. You have Q&A. So if people have asked you questions, you can be able to respond to them there. You can add updates if you have an update, like a new offer, a new promotion going on. So you have all this control right here within your fingertips. Again, just a great way to have your business featured locally in Google search, a very powerful tool to be able to get more business that way. So I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.